I wanted to talk a little bit about what happens if your flute wets out. That's what it's called. If you use it so much that enough of the moisture from your breath gets inside. And of course, because this is wood, that's going to change the way that it sounds. So if you've been playing your flute for a while and all of a sudden it starts to sound a little funny, you probably have wet out the inside of the flute. Now it has a seal inside to try and help keep it from um, happening too quickly and to help it from, uh, to protect the wood from being damaged. But if you wet it out you can do a couple of different things first of all if you just enjoy your flute periodically and then let it sit it can air out naturally if you're not playing it so much that it's wetting out but if you need to dry it out quickly you can unfasten the ties that are holding the bird onto the flute and so this piece actually completely removes and so you can take it off you can see it's two separate pieces so this is your bird and this is your flute and so you can see this is the air tunnel where you blow and it's coming up here and the bird is redirecting down into the second hole right here. And so if you take this off, it'll air out. And so this is an easy way to air out your flute if you need to. Um, I will tell you that I don't always have the best time getting it tied tightly again afterwards, um, which is kind of a pain. So for me, I have a lot of flutes and I sort of dabble between each of them so I don't have the problem of wetting them out, but every person <laughs> enjoys them differently. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense and then you can put it back into place and as you know from our other video how to put how to position the bird and then you just um reattach the uh, the leather strap and so I'm not gonna try and do this one-handed while I'm talking to you but you get the gist <laughs> anyway if you have any questions let us know otherwise enjoy playing and happy worshiping God bless you